About 30 to 60% of the skin that was cut with a laser during a phrenectomy will reattach. I don't know about you, but I want my reattachment to be close to the 30% range, not the 60% range. The way to do this is with exercises and movement immediately following surgery. This is the only thing I know of that will help this frenum not reattach. Yes, this is going to be very, very painful, but yes, it is really, really necessary. So on with the exercises, the post-op exercises. The first one is tongue around the world. You'll notice that this is the same as the pre-op exercise, so hopefully this one's already known, but just in case I'll demonstrate it. The idea is to close the lips and uh, move the tongue around the teeth or around the world as if you're cleaning the teeth with the tongue. So I'll do two in each direction. The next exercise is called puffs. And the idea is to puff some air up, left, down, right, and puff the air around. And I go around two times in each direction uh, twice a day. The next exercise is called Lip Around the World. I do 10 circles to the front and the sides twice a day. Now notice immediately after surgery, I actually do these a little more than twice a day. I probably try to do them three or four times a day, especially if I've taken the day or two off, which I highly recommend taking a day or two off of work. Um, so I grab the, up, the lip with the um, thumb and the forefingers and I move it around. And I'll do this at the surgery site. So if I've had it at the front or the buckles, um, then that's where I'll do it. But I'll just demonstrate the front and the buckle right now. And I'll just do this buckle. And the idea is to really stretch. I know it's going to be painful, but that's, that's the idea. The next one is called cotton roll holds. And I hold the cotton roll in as long as possible twice a day. So basically, I take a cotton roll and I put it wherever my surgery site is. It might be in the front. It might be in the buckle. But basically, what I do is I position it in there, and then I just kind of hang out and do whatever I'm doing, work or whatever and just hang out with the cotton roll in there. Again, that just kind of separates um, the, the frenum from reattaching. So I'll just put it in and take it out just to give an idea of what it looks like. So here's the front. Can you hang out and do whatever you do, work or whatever? And the buckle, it just goes on the side, like that, wherever the surgery site was. And again, you just kind of hang out like that. So this is a cotton roll. Get them at the uh, drugstore or online. Um, you could also just, you know, roll up a, some cotton balls and, and do that. The next one is called cork pulls. And this one, I don't start right away. I started a few days after surgery. And what I do is I suction the cork into the mouth and then I pull it out making a popping sound. So this is kind of like the lip pops that we had in the pre-op exercises, but it's a little more intense. So I usually wait until a day or two after surgery to start these. And if, if you want, you could even start with the lip pops, which look like this. That's what those look like, but then the next level is to try it with a cork. I'll do it from the side. So I do about 10 of those twice a day. The next exercise I call Great Granny Surprise Face. 10 of these twice a day. 
the basic idea is to look like a very surprised granny who doesn't have any teeth. So you roll the lips in over the teeth and open your mouth and lift your eyebrows like you're in surprise. So something like this. And then back to normal, that was one. And then again. And back to normal, that was two. So I do 10 of these twice a day. And again, that's just um, moving these facial muscles in, in a different way and getting, uh, getting everything moving again. So I know these exercises are really painful. I know the pain is excruciating. But in a couple of days, um, it should subside. And you'll be glad you did these exercises so that hopefully you don't have to have a revision on the surgery.